Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how I support multi-language in my Unity demo. I hope this could give indie game new beginners a little bit help. This is an office tycoon game demo I made. Here player can build room, put furniture and hair NPC to work. There are some UIs like Start Game, Save Game, Game Settings buttons in Main Menu. It also has some shopping lists to display items and their prices. And some interaction guides, all these need to support multi-language. When you change language settings, all the game text will be replaced in real time. In this video, I just show you a simple version. You can make it better in your game. I uploaded all the mentioned files onto GitHub. You can review the codes when you watch this video. First, let's check the configuration table of multi-language, a JSON file named GameTextJSON. It's a dictionary and its key is string type. Script will find the relative game text to display by using the key. Its value is a dictionary too. Its key used to distinguish different languages, and its values are text under different languages. For example, when display the text on start game button, script will find a key value pair in this dictionary by using the string start game, then choose Chinese or English depending on current language setting. Besides, here I use string format to give arguments into the text, such as the room size is changing when player is building room, so the size text can only be arguments. The 0 and 1 here represent the first and second arguments of the text. They make up an argument list, pass the text string and argument list to string format. In this demo, I choose JSON file as the configuration table. If your game is lightweight, you can use JSON because it's very easy to use. But if you have complicated tables in your game, you could write a tool to read Excel and translate it to JSON or C sharp inner data structure. Maybe few data in Excel can avoid some mistakes. Because it's more clear to display data, and include some useful functions. If you worked for some big projects like MMORPG, the configuration table always includes huge data. Common way is to paginate the data table, give the data row ID, find and load the page according to ID. By using data paging, we could avoid reading large amount of data into memory at once and improve search efficiency. Now we have text table. We need to pick the keys from the table and convert them to members of an enumerator type. Then we can fill the keys on the UI text field and write script to find text by using these keys. Here write an editor extension to generate a UI text.cs file. The enumerator members are same with the keys in table. Let's see the generate UI text script. Create tools generate UI text option in Unity navigation bar. Click it will execute below method. First, read content in game text.json file. Then use Newtonsoft library to deserialize it to a dictionary. Its key is string type, value is dictionary type. Then use link to precise the dictionary keys, add to type at the front of a line, add comma and return at the end of a line. After that, use string format to put these keys into script template. Let's have a look at script template. First line is comment in UIText.cs file. 
then define namespace and enumerator type. Then fill the keys as the enumerator members. We can see there are two types at front, a comma at the end of a line. At last, write the template into UI text CS file. Every time we insert or delete rows in gametext.json file, click the Generate UI Text button in navbar to auto-refresh the UI text file. Then let's check Language Manager. First is a singleton class. About how to implement singleton in Unity, you can check the script by yourself. The awake internal method is called during monobehavior executing awake method. Read game text JSON table, deserialize it to dictionary, then assign the result to the variable multi language text. The getText method has a UI text input parameter, which is the key we use to search the text. Language settings.value is the current language we choose. Notice that there has another overload for getText method. It has additional out parameter, which is the text font. The font is different when displaying different language texts. Go above, we can see an action delegate named onChange language handler. We use this delegate to listen language changing and replace game texts. Let's see when the delegate will be called. In language settings, there has a value property when I change language in game. The set method will be called and the onChange language handler will be called here. Go to text mesh pro UGUI wrapper class, we will find which functions the unchanged language handler registered. The wrapper class is derived from Unity built in text mesh pro UGUI class. The wrapper class is commonly used when you are using some third party libraries. You want to add new members to some classes or add logic to some methods, but you cannot or not convenient to modify the code in library. You can design a wrapper class to encapsulate the class in the library, then add new members in your wrapper class, or add a new method to encapsulate the derived method with additional logic. Back to our wrapper class, go to unenable method. Here I registered unchanged method to unchanged language handler. A pre-processed text method will be called here. Go to the pre-processed text method. It will check whether the UI text is starts with UI text dot. Notice that the text variable is a built-in member of text mesh pro UGUI, which is the text displayed on UI. We mentioned before we need to write key here, but not text itself. Our script will find text by using the key. This function will remove the UI text dot prefix, convert the suffix to UI text enumerator type such as start game, will be converted to the member of UI text enumerator.
The result will be saved in the wearable UI text, which is a member added in the wrapper class. Core unchanged method at last. Next, check the unchanged method. We have reviewed the get text method in Language Manager before. It will acquire game text and font by using UI text. Use string format to fill the arguments to the text. Assign the text and font to the derived members of the text mesh pro UGUI, which finally determines the game text on UI. Back to Unity, we need to replace the text mesh pro UGUI component to our text mesh pro UGUI wrapper component. For static text without arguments, we only need to fill the UI text member string in the text field. For dynamic text, we need to use script to control the field content. So here is a set global text method used to pass in UI text key and the text arguments. With a call to unchange method, we can refresh the text by script. Last thing is we need to set the script execution order in edit project settings. The language manager needs to initialize before text match pro UGUI because it will read the text data table when game starts. So here I manually change their execution order. This method has some shortcomings, such as you can only see UI text member strings in editor mode. Sometimes it's not convenient to debug. That's all in this video. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.